another thing about the Golden Globes last night. Yeah. It was really cool. I don't. I've, I've kind of gotten burnt out on award shows, but my kid was in town, and she's an actress. She loves to watch these things, so we watched them. Yep. And Ricky Gervais was brilliant. I, you know, I just thought when Russell they they read the statement from Russell Crowe. Yeah. I mean, Australia is on fire. Right. The whole damn country, except the very middle part, is on fire. Yep. Billions of or millions and of animals have half a billion half a billion animals have lost their lives. Right. And Russell Crowe's statement is uh, climate change. Make no mistake, the tragedy unfolding in Australia is climate change based. Right. We need to act based on science. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, blah blah blah, freaking blah. Right. Okay. That's his, which, which I think is, is what sick. Greta Thunberg said too. Yeah, I, right. I think it's sick. Right. I think that's sick. Meanwhile, okay, the family of Steve Irwin are not making political statements. No, no, they're out all. there rescuing animals. Yep, as much as they can. As, as many, many, 50, as many as they get in there. However many thousand, I think right. animals they've rescued right. personally. Right. Just going out there and grabbing them wherever they can find them and bringing them in. Yeah, I just, I, 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 I really, I, I hate it when people use ongoing tragedy to make a political point. Or something that's been happening since the beginning of the Earth. Since the beginning of the Earth. Which temperature is, fluctuations. T- temperature fluctuates and, and wildfires happen. Uh, believe it or not, this is nature, or if you believe in God, God's way, and I happen to believe in God, of clearing land. Now, this happens, yeah. and it's terrible. Like in California, when it happens out there, there is some human uh, component to it, but that's because the environmentalists won't let them clean the, it up. The environmentalists uh, uh, ban the pulling out of yeah. scrub. They ban right. the uh, and and block the inroads into these forests where you need to be able to get vehicles well, to the worst fight thing these they fires did, and get the scrub out. In California, the worst thing they did was go and tell PG&E, you cannot continue with what you're doing. You've got to invest a certain amount in the new, you know, like renewables, you know, and all that. So they didn't have any money in California, PG&E didn't, to go out and fix the, the broken down lines and the transformers and all that. So those things blow up, and when they blow up, they cause these fires. I, I think what we're seeing as the climate change movement really loses its scientific footing and becomes more of a cult, which I think it is. It is. A political cult. It's, it's a religion. Uh, a religion. Yeah. You, you're starting to find out that many of the things that they support are actually horrible for right. the planet and horrible for the environment. Right. And these wildfires are, are at least one example, at least in California. I, I don't know what caused in Australia. I, 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 don't, I guess it's just a natural phenomenon. Right. It's a very dry country, basically. Right. And the, the fire has no place to go but across the country. And, and here again, we know that they have had fires there for yeah. many, many years. It has nothing to do with global warming. In fact, they're having a thing now where fire actually rains down from the sky. Right. Because it's sucked up into the clouds. And it can literally start another fire, fire 60, 70, 80 miles away from the current fire line. And that's going on right now. So, that you know, you, you can't chase this. There's no way to we, try to put this kind of thing out. Look, it's it's like floods, tsunamis, yeah. hurricanes. We right. live in a biological world. It has biological reactions. And it's very things. violent sometimes. And very violent. And we're not talking about guys shooting guys. We're talking about the, the, the environment itself is a very can be a very violent a, atmosphere. Very violent yeah. uh, thing. And and this, this obsession with blaming oh, people... God. For everything that happens on a, on a planet that's, what, 4 billion years old? Well, here's the thing. Come on, If man. Russell Crowe really believes all that, then the next time they have an award show, get off your private plane and don't fly yeah. to the award show. Get out of the black SUV. I tell you what I want you to do, Russell. I want you to walk everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it, that, that's these people. Me, this is what gets me about this. Is that they don't they don't practice what they no. preach? They want you and I to give up everything. They want you and I to pay all these taxes to the UN, so the UN can redistribute our wealth right. to the rest of the world. But they don't do it. They still hop on their private jets. You damn get right lunch. they do. You damn right they do. On the south of France, and they don't give a crap. Well, one one of the leading ones that one of the leading violators of that is Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. DiCaprio. So he's got a personal private yacht. He's got a huge, gigantic jet. Right. He's got jets. It's it, it, it's it's much like the. Jets, that's a good way of putting it, but the one he likes is much like a Southwest Airlines jet. <laughs> it's about that size. You know. And he will actually get on it all by himself. Now, imagine going over here to the airport and being the only <laughs> one on a Southwest Airlines jet. Now, that's fine with me. If you if you have a jet that and if you, you have can the money, afford, yeah. great, that's fine. But then don't get off that jet and tell me how I'm ruining the world in my Prius. But you know what the response is. Oh, you're just killing the messenger because you don't want to, uh, you know, make the changes necessary right. to save Earth. Right. I need my jet to spread the message. Yeah, right, right. That's what they, that is exactly on, what they Leo. say. Come on, Leo. 
Warren Rima on KTSA impeachment at an impasse. And Nancy, Nancy Pelosi says, uh, you should uh, listen to me. Uh, uh, we'll explain why. By the uh, way, bring her some more Smirnoff. Um, 